Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A pickup truck from Toyota, the Hilux Conquest 2.84x4 automatic, and an MPV from Maxxis, the G10 Assist. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two sport sedans, the Subaru WRX CVT with EyeSight versus the Kia Stinger GT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about how a supercharger works. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the inauguration of the new Isuzu Pasig dealership and truck center as our special feature. next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus and we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Humans choose more challenging paths to go up and over our biggest obstacle, ourselves. New Ford Ranger FX4 Max. Live the Ranger life. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. The entry of more pickup models and brands into the local market has made the segment all the more competitive. Up next on Car Review, we take a look at one of the mainstays vying for market segment leadership, the Toyota Hilux. It's a top-of-the-line variant, the Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic. Toyota Motor Philippines rolled out the 2020 update of the Hilux in the final months of the year as authorities continued to ease community quarantine restrictions. It arrived with a look that accentuated Toyota's reputation for quality, durability, and reliability. Neither garish nor loud, but rugged in a handsome kind of way. Headlighting the mate over Hilux is the Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic. At 5,325mm long, 1,900mm wide, and 1,845mm tall with the roof ornament. The Hilux Conquest makes an impressive presence in both urban and rural setting. The thick frame and solid horizontal slats of the large grille, wide over fenders with garnish and the 18-inch gloss black alloy wheels wrapped by 26560 R18 tires all add to the ruggedly handsome vibe. The Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic also gets all of the exterior upgrades from the bi-beam LED auto-leveling headlamps, daytime running lights, front fog lamps, rear LED combination lamps with line guide and LED deck lamp to the power adjusting and folding side view mirrors, and intermittent windshield wipers with time adjust. It also comes with bed liner, sports bar, roof ornament, and the unobtrusive Conquest decals on the side. The Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic also gets all the interior upgrades for comfort and convenience. These include smart entry and push start system, power window auto up and down function and jam protection, speed sending door locks, cruise control and automatic climate control. The driver's seat gets 6-way manual adjust function, the front passenger seat adjusts 4 ways, the rear seat separates 60-40 which allows flexibility for cargo. The multi-information display features easy-to-read dials plus a 4.2-inch TFT to provide all information needed by the driver. 
The Conquest cabin features leather door trims, interior illumination, and a leather-wrapped steering with controls and switches for audio, phone, and the MID. These include controls for the infotainment system that features an 8-inch display audio with AM-FM radio, Bluetooth, smart device link, Miracast, compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and playing through six speakers. There are more than enough cup holders and bottle holders for all occupants as well. Two 12-volt accessory outlets. Pickup trucks are no longer unwieldy or difficult to drive as before. This is true with the Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic. Power steering with variable flow control, a 6-speed automatic transmission makes driving a breeze. What also makes the Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic fun to drive is the 2,755cc 4-cylinder intercooled and turbocharged diesel engine made into the 6-speed automatic transmission that generates 204 PS at 3,400 revolutions per minute and 500 Nm of torque at 1,600 to 2,800 RPM. The adequate powertrain plus the four-wheel drive capability make the Conquest a fun and practical pickup to own and drive around. The suspension system uses double wishbones in front and leaf spring rigid axle in the rear to allow for solid but comfortable ride and handling in the safe carriage of heavy loads. The brake system uses front ventilated and rear jumps and is complemented by anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution for added safety. Also helping keeping driver and passengers safe are driver assist technologies that include vehicle stability control, hill start assist control, and downhill assist control. Rear cameras and sonars at all corners of the Conquest make parking such a huge vehicle easier. Adding to safety in the Hilux Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic are dual airbags, ISOFIX teether anchors, 3-point ELR seatbelts for 5, with driver and front passenger getting pre-tensioners and force limiters. Finally, also standard in the Hilux is the Toyota Vehicle Security System, which comes with alarm and immobilizer. The Toyota Hilux has been around for decades now, leading pickup sales locally for a majority of those years. With more competitors in the market, Toyota has to do more to stay ahead of the competition. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Make looking good easy with the Mirage G4. Da, da, da. Ba, 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 da, da. Da, 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 da. Make long distance easy with the Mirage G4. Welcome back to Autofocus. And we now have the latest auto industry news. There's a new Ranger out on the road. It's called the Ford Ranger FX4 Max. What makes this FX4 deserve the Max name? A tweaked suspension system that gives it off-road driving capabilities inspired by the Raptor while retaining the Ranger brand of comfort, safety, and versatility, says Ford Philippines. The FX4 Max suspension features the new 2-inch monotube Fox shock absorbers on all four wheels, tuned front coil springs, and modified rear leaf springs for greater off-road compliance while balancing payload and towing capability. BF Goodrich's all-terrain tires wrapped around 17-inch alloy wheels add to the FX4 Max's tough stance and rugged appearance enhanced by a full-length tubular sports bar, metal hoop sidesteps, and iconic Ford grille. 
The interior also gets the max treatment which includes all weather front and rear floor mats, sports pedals, FX4 max embroidery, black alley inserts. Powering the FX4 Max is the same 2.0 liter bi-turbo diesel engine capable of generating 213 PS and 500 Nm of torque that powers the Raptor in the wild track. It is now available in all four dealerships nationwide at a launch price of 1,698,000 pesos. Toyota's trustworthy, reliable passenger sedan has just been made to thrill. Toyota Motor Philippines rolled out the Vios GRS, a variant which is said has been injected with the Gazoo Racing spirit. The GR and GRS stands for Gazoo Racing, the motorsports and performance brand of Toyota. In launching the Vios GRS, TMP President Atsuhiro Okamoto said the goal was to transform your reliable everyday car to a Vios that gives a more pleasurable drive, whether on the track or on the road. The Vios GRS will bring next level thrill in your every drive, he added. The Vios GRS is just the first of many GR models to be rolled out locally. TMP said it intends to make sportier options available for racing fans and motorsports enthusiasts who want to express this passion through their daily drive. The GRS arrived with the prestigious GR emblem, aero kit featuring a sporty front bumper, grille, and spoiler. The sporty interior comes with leather red stitching for their steering wheel, shift lever, and knob. This theme is carried over to the suede synthetic leather with stitching for the seats. The new VS GRS is now available in all TMP dealerships nationwide at 1,035,000 pesos for the one in white pearl crystal shine and 1,020,000 pesos for the one in super red 5 and black 1. Volkswagen's first subcompact SUV, the T-Cross, will be soon coming to the Philippines. This was revealed by Volkswagen Philippines during the recent roundtable discussion it held with more than 100 members of the motoring media. VW Philippines XX said the T-Cross will be the first of three new Volkswagen models which it plans to launch this year. Produced in VW factories in Brazil, China, and Germany, the T-Cross has been launched simultaneously in the Netherlands, Sao Paulo in Brazil, and Shanghai in China to immediate success. The T-Cross sold well in all markets and sparked excitement among car aficionados in a clamor for getting it introduced locally. When asked where the T-Cross, which it plans to roll out locally, will be produced, VW President Felipe Estrella III said it will come from China. He indicated that Volkswagen's rolling out of any of its production facilities worldwide will have been built with VW's global standard for design and engineering. Sourcing the T-Cross from China will allow VW Philippines to offer the new SUV at a much lower price than if it were sourced elsewhere, he added. Nissan Philippines gave the motoring and other media a preview of the new Navara pickup that is publicly launching on the weekend of March 21. The preview came with presentation of the Navara which it describes as a tougher, bolder and smarter pickup that it claims will set new benchmarks for design, performance and technology in the segment. The new Navara lineup will have six variants of the top-of-the-line Navara Pro 4X, 4x4 down to the base model Navara EL 4x2. The media preview included a ride-and-drive program called the Road Discovery from March 9-12. Road Discovery, a collaboration between Nissan Philippines and the Department of Tourism, aimed to give media a chance to test drive the new Navara as well as help boost local tourism and bring back confidence in traveling. During the four-day event, participants drove to various tourist attractions including the La Paz Sound Dunes, the Palalay Salt Refinery, the Ref Mad Dragon Fruit Plantation, the Bataan Riverside and Panadaan, the Nagkarlan Loom Weavers, and the Pauay Church. All participants were given RT-PCR testing for COVID-19 prior to the launch and antigen test before heading back to Manila. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. 
Motil is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motil engine oils, visit www.motil.com.ph. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on Head to Head. Would you rather have an all-wheel drive or a rear-wheel drive four-door sports sedan with lots of horses under the hood to play with? This edition of Head to Head fits the Subaru WRX 2.0 CVT with EyeSight against the Kia Stinger 3.3 Twin Turbo GT in a spec to spec comparison. There are differences in driving sedans with powerful engines motivating all four wheels or just two rear wheels. One can add front wheels in the mix too. Certainly, all can be fun to drive. But while preference for AWDs or RWDs can be the decider, exterior and interior features, the latest tech for safety and connectivity, can do some persuading. So let's check out how the Subaru WRX 2.0 CVT with EyeSight stacks up against the Kia Stinger 3.3 Twin Turbo GT spec to spec. The Subaru WRX is 4,595mm long, 1,795mm wide, and 1,475mm tall with a 2,650mm long wheelbase and a 135mm minimum ground clearance. Exterior features include hood air scoop, side sill spoilers, rear diffuser, twin dual tail bufflers, rear lip spoiler, shark fin antenna, and 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 245-40 R18 tires. The Subaru WRX is also equipped with LED headlamps with auto levelizer, the LED rear combination lights, front fog lamps, power folding side view mirrors. The Kia Stinger 3.3 Twin Turbo GT is 4,830mm long, 1,870mm at its widest point, and just 1,400mm at its highest. It has a long 2,905mm wheelbase and clears the ground at just 130mm. The Stinger exterior features Kia's signature Tiger grille. Bifunction projected LED headlamps with dynamic bending, LED daytime running lights, heated side view mirrors that adjust and fold electronically and come with puddle lights, and integrated turn signals, air curtain, and aero fender garnish. The signature 19 inch alloy wheels are wrapped by low profile tires, 225 40 R19s in front, and 255 35 R19s in the rear. The Stinger rear features high mount LED stop lamp. LED rear combination lights, fin type antenna, dark chrome quad exhaust pipes, integrated diffuser, and power tailgate. Inside the Subaru WRX 2.0 CVT are leather clad seats, tiltable and telescopic steering wheel with paddle shifter, shift knob with red stitching, aluminum pedals, instrument panel with the rev and speed counters, and multi function display. The driver's seat has 10 way power adjust function. The rear seat back has a fold-down center armrest with two cup holders. It also splits and folds for more cargo capacity. Cabin comfort and convenience comes with keyless entry and push-button start. Power windows, map lights, vanity mirrors with lids and lamps for driver and front seat passenger, center console box with twin cup holders, 12-volt power outlets in the center panel and center console box. Automatic air conditioning system comes with anti-dust filter, Heater ducts for rear passengers and electric rear window defogger with timer. 
The infotainment system features a 7-inch display, Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatibility, Bluetooth voice recognition, audio remote control switches on steering, dual USB ports, auxiliary input jack, two more USB ports for charging mobile phones in the center console box. The Kia Stinger features leather upholstery with stitch styling and aluminum trim, 8-way power adjusting driver's seat. The dashboard features aluminum trim, dark chrome door handles, stitch styling, standard tachometer and speedometer, 7-inch multifunction display. The shift knob and the tilt and telescopic three-spoke steering wheel are leather wrapped. Comfort and convenience features include dual-zone automatic air conditioning system with rear vents, power windows, central door locks, electronic parking brake with auto hold. The infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen, AM FM radio, CD and MP3 player, both USB and aux imports, Bluetooth, voice recognition, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Harman Kardon speakers, and mobile phone wireless charging. The Subaru WRX 2.0 CVT with EyeSight is powered by a 1998cc direct injection 4-cylinder turbocharged boxer engine. The engine powers all four wheels by a linear-tronic continuously variable transmission and Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive technology. The suspension system features a reverse McPherson strut in front and double wishbones in the rear. The brake system uses ventilated discs in front and solid discs in the rear. The Kia Stinger 3.3 Twin Turbo GT is powered by a 3,342cc V6 gasoline engine with twin turbochargers and dual CVVT. The engine drives the rear wheels by an 8-speed automatic shift by wire transmission. The suspension uses front McPherson struts with stabilizer and a rear multi-link system and comes with electronically controlled damping function. The Stinger comes with Brembo disc brakes, 4 piston calipers with 13.9-inch discs in front and 2 piston calipers with 13.4-inch discs in the rear. The Subaru WRX is equipped with safety and driver assist technologies which includes adaptive cruise control, SI Drive or Subaru Intelligent Drive, Auto Vehicle Hold, 4-channel anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist system, brake override, the Subaru Rear Vehicle Detection System, and EyeSight Driver Assist. Also added for safety are front SRS airbags, credit SRS airbags, driver's knee airbag, front seat belts with pre-tensioners and load limiters, 3-point seat belts for rear seat passengers, ISOFIX child seat anchors, and child-proof rear door locks. The Kia Singer is equipped with auto cruise control, blind spot detection, 360-degree around view monitoring system, front and rear parking distance sensors, anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control, hill start assist control, anti-theft system, and tire pressure monitoring system. It also comes in 3-point ELR seat belts with pre-tensioner for 4 plus 2-point static seat belt for middle passengers in the second row. Isofix child anchor for rear seats, child lock, and front, side, curtain, and driver knee airbags. The Subaru WRX and the Kia Stinger should be on the list of top options for those going to buy sporty four-door sedan. Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Humans choose more challenging paths to go up and over our biggest obstacle, ourselves. New Ford Ranger FX4 MAX. Live the Ranger life. Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors.
Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. One of the best Isuzu dealerships just got even better. Up next is a special feature on the inauguration of the new and approved Isuzu Pasig dealership and the Isuzu Pasig truck center. Isuzu Pasig has been a consistent awardee in the annual awards handed out to its dealership by Isuzu Philippines Corporation. Before the COVID-19 pandemic shut down the economy in 2020, Isuzu Pasig or Isuzu Automotive Dealership Inc. or IADI was named the best Isuzu dealership of 2019. The pandemic didn't stop Isuzu Pasig from implementing plans to relocate and set up an even bigger and better dealership that complies with the new Isuzu outlet standards. Isuzu Philippines cited the IADI for being among dealerships that took the initiatives to join the plan to aggressively expand the Isuzu dealership network. Last February 17, Isuzu Pasig held the inauguration of its new and bigger dealership as well as the Isuzu Pasig Truck Center. The inauguration was attended by top officials of Isuzu Philippines, IADI, and AC Motors of the Ayala Group. IADI falls under the aegis of Ayala. The who's who at the inauguration included Isuzu President Hajime Koso, Executive Vice President Shojiro Sakoda, and Sales Division Head Joseph Bautista, AC Motor President Antonio Zara, and IED officials headed by Chief Operating Officer Alex Pagio. And Isuzu Pasig was represented by Operations Manager Eric Mumbanko. We are delighted to announce that today is the inauguration of Isuzu Pasig Truck Service Center and the new site of Isuzu Pasig Showroom. Was under AC Industrials of Ayala Group. Isuzu Pasig is now bigger, with more showroom for latest Isuzu light commercial vehicles and even the heavier trucks, as well as more service base and specialized areas for body repair and paint shops. We operate uh, Isuzu Pasig here along C5 and Cali Industria. This is uh, one of our new outlets. This is uh, an area of 5,000 square meters. We have over 15 uh, work base to include uh, three truck base. And uh, we also have a uh, state-of-the-art uh, BRP, uh, body repair work base, so that we can service not only uh, light commercial vehicles, but also uh, Isuzu trucks for all our fleet customers. Isuzu Philippines expects Isuzu Pasig now with the Isuzu Pasig Truck Center to continue being one of the best Isuzu dealerships across the country. For five consecutive years, Isuzu Pasig has garnered the highest networks here among all our dealers. So brought home the 2019 Dealer of the Year Award or DOYA and excellence in DOYA sales operation for two consecutive years in 2018 and 2019. We are very confident that 2021 and the years to come, Isuzu Pasig will be getting more awards and recognition, especially now that strategically located with much improved facilities that are fully compliant with the new Isuzu Outlet Standard or IOS and capable of servicing all our product lines from the uh, Travis to MUX and heavy duty trucks. At the inauguration of the new and improved Isuzu Pasig dealership and truck center, AC Motors president revealed plans of the Ayala Group to establish more Isuzu dealerships. Isuzu plays a very important role in the whole AC Motors portfolio. We are a, a strong truck brand and that fills that requirement for AC Motors. Pasig, our new Pasig facility is just the beginning. Very soon, we will also be inaugurating our new uh, showroom, uh, showroom and service facility in Bacoor. This will be our, our second showroom for the year and we are intending to open another new showroom before the end of the year for Isuzu. Isuzu is looking forward to all the new customers heading to Isuzu Pasig to have their vehicles served or to check out and buy the Isuzu that they want or need as a vehicle for the family or business or both. We invite you to visit Isuzu Pasig newest site and please check out our Isuzu vehicles and inquire about its specification and the different classes. For more information about the Isuzu dealer network nationwide and its roster of products and services. Log on to www.isuzufair.com or visit any Isuzu dealership near you. Thank you very much. Isuzu Pasig should now become a new landmark 
for the thousands of Isuzu vehicle owners in the city and in Metro Manila. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. The Maxus G10 is a 9-seater that has a lot of features that should make it an attractive option for those looking for a decent family van or MPV. But Maxus added something that should make it special. Car review takes a look at the Maxus G10 Assist. The Maxus G10 arrived on local shores, hoping to cut a slice into a healthy but competitive market for the MPVs and vans. At 5,168 millimeters long, 1,980 millimeters wide, and 1,928 millimeters tall, with a 3,198 millimeter long wheelbase, it falls neatly between an MPV and a full-size van. It's a size that allows it to fit nine adults in full comfort but still be a nimble ride in narrow urban streets on a suspension system using front McPherson struts and five link coil springs in the rear. The Maxxis G10 also arrived looking like a proper modern MPV with the clean lines, angular swept back projector halogen headlights, sharp creases, large grille, integrated front bumper and air dam and 16-inch alloy wheels. It's got LED taillights, front and rear fog lamps, and electrically adjustable side mirrors with integrated turn signal light, and wide sliding doors on both sides, allowing safe and easy ingress and egress. The Maxxis G10 is powered by a 1850cc turbo diesel common rail direct injection engine that is capable of generating 150 PS at 4,000 revolutions per minute and 350 newton meters of torque from 1,800 to 2,600 RPM. The engine is mated to a six-speed automatic gearbox that tends power to the rear wheels. Stopping power comes from all-wheel disc brakes ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Inside the roomy interior of the G10 are seats of leather and fabric for nine. At the back of the G10 is a bench type seat for three that tumbles when needed to fit in more luggage. Other convenience features include a multi-function steering wheel, cruise control, front and rear reading lights, front and rear air conditioning system. Infotainment comes from 7-inch touchscreen radio with USB and Bluetooth playing through six speakers.
even without yet going into safety features, the Maxus G10 already is a good option worthy of checking out. But Maxus decided to introduce the G10 Assist variant, aimed to making them more accessible or convenient for use of seniors and persons with disabilities. The G10 Assist comes with a programmable swivel seat right next to the sliding door. This seat swivels, slides, and lowers to ground level to help seniors or PWDs get on and get off safely and conveniently. It comes with a remote control and can even be operated via an iOS app on a mobile phone. Then, there are the safety and security features. Dual airbags plus side airbags. Three-point seat belts for all nine in the G10. Anti-lock brake system plus electronic brake force distribution. Reverse parking camera. Immobilizer. The G10 gets an SRP of 1.79 million pesos. The G10 Assist gets 2.189 million pesos. The powered programmable swivel seat is a cool feature, but expensive. But seniors and persons with disabilities would surely welcome having one in a van or MPV. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Cindy and today we'll be talking about the supercharger. Superchargers and turbochargers, you hear these two terms thrown around interchangeably and can't really blame the people on the internet because they don't really know what it is, they have no idea what it looks like, much less know how it works. So we've covered turbochargers in a past topic, so this time we'll be covering the supercharger. So basically, let's start with the similarities, turbo and supercharger. Both of these things are called forced induction because you are force feeding more air into the engine. It's just that the way that they do it are different. A turbo uses the exhaust gases to spin a turbine that feeds air. A supercharger, on the other hand, uses a belt like this, connected to the engine, connected to the alternator, water pump, air con compressor, that spins two rotors in here that also force more air in. Same principle, get more air, suck more air, blow more air, make more power. The main difference between the supercharger and turbocharger is of the hardware itself. Almost all turbochargers are two circular round things. Superchargers come in this rectangular package because inside here are two intermeshing lobes. They look like gears. So what they basically do is it's also an air pump. It goes like this, air goes in, gets forced out, creates pressure. Nothing different from a turbocharger in terms of principal operation, but how it operates is one is belt driven, one is exhaust driven. Now, let's address the popular notion, oh, superchargers are, have parasitic laws and all of that. No, it's not true. Whatever you're reading, on it, once again, it's not true. Yes, it takes some energy to turn this, but that energy is a lot less than what the energy that it gives. Because if it is parasitic loss, and you're actually using more energy to turn this than what it makes, then there's no point in installing this in the first place. Let's put that in numbers. To turn this thing here, the assembly here with the lobes inside, takes about 5 horsepower from the engine. But what this gives you in return is about 40 horsepower on this 1.5 liter Honda City engine. So power-wise, for a 1.5 engine, we're adding 40 horsepower more. Basically, the behavior is like stuffing a big 2.4 liter engine into a car this small. That's the easiest way to describe the driving style and result of a supercharger. It feels like a big engine. The power curve is actually a straight line from idle all the way to red line. It's one straight line. No dips, no curves, no nothing. And it's very, very linear, which makes it a great choice for racing because unlike turbochargers, which have surged and sometimes depending on what size the turbo is, there's a lag when you let go. It's not very great when you're coming out of a corner. This is more predictable when it comes to driving and racing. So turbocharger, supercharger, which is better? One is not better than the other. One does not make more power than the other. If you're doing this on your project car, say a Civic 1.8, there is a limit to how much horsepower you can make. 
go over that limit, whether it's turbo or supercharger, then you'll break the engine. It all depends on really what you want. And of course, how much you're going to pay. Some people may say, oh, I'll spend 200 grand on a supercharger for 40 horses. But if I do turbocharger, it's only 130, 140,000. I'll go with the cheaper option. Well, that's up to you. But the biggest advantage of a supercharger system is most of these things are made in kit form. So everything that you need to be able to install it comes with it. So this one here actually installs in one day. A custom turbo setup where everything will have to be fabricated from scratch will take about a week. That's the fastest, to an average of a week and a half to two weeks. So you figure out how much your downtime is worth. So that's the how and why it works of a supercharger. That's our feature on Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.